Okay, our EBC correspondent in New Jersey gives us a glimpse or a picture of the situation now in the U.S. Joining us live is El Aguilar. El? Good morning, Alma. Good afternoon. Hi. Good evening to everybody. It is 9.39 Monday morning here in New Jersey. Uh, we all know that every day there are pressures left and right, pressures by Governor Cuomo of New York, pressures of Governor Bill Murphy of um, New Jersey, and also daily briefing from the White House. So today uh, we're going to update you. Um, just like what we've been uh, reporting in New Jersey, it's close to 2,000 now who are infected and uh, there are 20 deaths reported. Mm -hmm. In New York State, more than 15,000 are tested positive and this is accounting for one third of all cases in the nation. In New York City alone, there were close to 10,000 cases already and that um, is now reported to 63. About 40 to 80 percent of the state's population is going to be infected by coronavirus, according to Governor Cuomo in his press conference. That amounts to 7.8 million to 15.6 million New Yorkers infected. 55 percent of New York State coronavirus cases are within the age range of 18 to 49 years old. So it is not only affecting the older population as originally or earlier reported. As cases continue to grow, New York is going to uh, to a big pause. It is a 10-point executive order stating that all non-essential businesses statewide will be closed effective 8 p.m. Essential businesses that can remain open include pharmacies, grocery stores, manufacturing, and banks. And that goes um, um, where uh, that goes true to in um, New Jersey State. All non-essential gatherings of individuals of any size for any reason are temporarily banned. When in public individuals must, or when in public, if you go out, the public should practice social distancing at least six feet from others and limit use of public transportation. Uh, we also reported um, um, yesterday that Banknotes are not being accepted now in toll booths. So those who are driving to and from um, the ton New York and New Jersey and passing through the tunnels and bridges, please try not to use banknotes. What they need to do now is um, not to get the card, um, the toll card, but at the end of their trip, they should let the um, some toll booth um, collectors to be to let them know where they entered in that way they will be given a receipt and they will be charged or billed monthly now um we all know or some of you don't know the jacob um javits center it's a convention center where they hold usually they hold conventions seminars big events auto shows now the army corps of engineers will begin construction to make it as one of the four temporary hospital sites in the state of New York. So um, um, Governor Cuomo is thinking ahead and this, this uh, convention center will be constructed as a temporary hospital to, um, to house the overflow from different hospitals in the city. Other, other stories in New York now, the restaurants stop offering takeout due to coronavirus crisis. Um, business owners are saying takeouts are not really generating money and it's actually becoming a loss for them because they have to pay the people who are working and uh, the resources. They have to cook, of course, the energy, the ingredients. Um, they're paying more um, than the, the business that they're getting in from um, orders online or uh, phone calls. The, uh, the governor addressed manufacturers of medical supplies, particularly masks manufacturers, to stop price gouging. Lately, the governor notices that um, the regular or used to be eight cents per mask, they're charging now seven dollars. So, Governor Cuomo is, is calling the attention of the federal uh, government to issue a directive for these manufacturers to stop um, 
price gouging. Meanwhile, at the White House, President Trump announced that four emergency hospitals and much-needed medical supplies are on their way to New York to help fight the COVID outbreak. Trump also said that he had activated the National Guard in New York, as well as California and Washington, the state's hardest hit by the pandemic, giving governors control on when to call up the reserves while the federal government foots the bill. So that's our update right now. We will keep you posted as the day goes on because we know that um, press conferences will be up today. Um, and that's it for now, Alma. Reporting from um, New Jersey, El Aguilar, Eagle News. We El, have an interesting times. Hi, yes. El. Before I let you go, I just want to know um, one big news coming out of the of the from the U.S. is uh, Kentucky Republican Rand Paul is the first U.S. senator to test positive for the coronavirus. How is this affecting uh, American citizens over there? Yes, um, of course uh, we know that. COVID-19 knows no discrimination, knows no racial or position mm -hmm. in society. So he's just, uh, it's just unfortunate that he's one of those um, um, diagnosed to be positive. So was Harvey Weinstein, you know, but Americans are, you know, they, they say it is what it is. It's unfortunate, but they can't do anything. You cannot control that. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you so much, Eleanor. Thank you, Elle, for your time. I know you're working. <laughs> you're welcome. Thank you. And by the way, how are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Still, um, still here. <laughs> no COVID. <laughs> yeah. Thank goodness. Uh, we're all coping up. Yeah, we're all coping. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you.